Okay, let's talk about Google's brand new feature, Gemini Live, their big answer to OpenAI's ChatGPT advanced voice mode. This is something we've all been waiting for, and I'm stoked to break it all down for you. So, Google just launched Gemini Live, which is their latest move in the AI space, and honestly, it's pretty impressive. Gemini Live is all about voice interaction. How can I embarrass my sister during a wedding toast, but like, respectfully? Okay. Here's the deal. Think of it as having a real dynamic conversation with your phone. Google's been teasing this for months now, ever since their IEO 2024 developer conference. And finally, it's here. Great, let's get going. Here's one of the voices I have. If you've been keeping up with OpenAI's advanced voice mode for ChatGPT, which rolled out in a limited alpha recently, then you've probably been wondering how Google was going to respond. Well, Gemini Live is that response. So Gemini Live lets you have these deep, free-flowing conversations with Google's AI right on your smartphone. It's got this enhanced speech engine that makes the dialogue not just more realistic, but also emotionally expressive. Here's one of the voices I have, but there are more to choose from. Here's another voice I can use. You can pick me now and always make a change later in settings. So the AI can pick up on your tone and pace and adapt its responses accordingly. Hi, Gemini. How are you doing? Hi there. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. It's always nice to hear from someone. How can I help you today? You can even interrupt it mid-sentence to ask a follow-up question or steer the conversation in a different direction, just like you would in a real conversation with another person. Google's really been pushing the idea that Gemini Live is hands-free too. You can keep talking even if your phone's locked or the app's in the background. This means you could be doing other things while still chatting with your AI, multitasking to the max, right? Now, this could actually change how we interact with our devices. Up until now, voice assistants like Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa have been pretty basic. They're great for setting timers or playing music, but they're, they're pretty limited when it comes to having a real conversation. They'll usually just direct you to a web page if you ask something too complex. But Gemini Live is designed to understand the context of your questions and give meaningful answers, even on more complex topics. You can ask it how the USA did in the recent Paris Olympics and it'll give you a detailed answer. Or ask it for a diet plan and it'll offer suggestions based on what it knows about you. And here's another cool thing. The architecture behind Gemini Live, which is powered by the Gemini 1.5 Pro and Gemini 1.5 Flash models, has a super long context window. What that means is the AI can remember what you've been talking about for a long time, theoretically for hours of conversation. This essentially allows for more coherent and in-depth discussions without the AI losing track of what you were originally talking about. I'm looking to run my first marathon and I really don't know where to start. What should I do? That's an awesome goal. Training for a marathon is a huge commitment, so let's get you set up for success. All right, let's talk about how you might actually use this in real life. Google gives this kind of funny example where you could use Gemini Live to rehearse for a job interview. I mean, it's a bit ironic, right? Practicing talking to an AI to prepare for talking to another AI hiring manager someday. But in all seriousness, it could actually be really helpful. The AI can give you tips on what to say, how to say it, and even suggest skills to highlight. But that's just one scenario. You could also use Gemini Live for brainstorming sessions, asking for advice, or just having a conversation about something complex that's been on your mind. And because you can interrupt and redirect the conversation, it feels more natural and less like you're just waiting for the AI to finish its canned response. Now, Gemini Live actually doesn't have all the features Google teased back at I.O. 2024. Remember when they showed off how Gemini could respond to images and videos you take with your phone's camera? Like you could snap a picture of a broken bike part and Gemini would tell you what it is and maybe even how to fix it. Yeah, that feature isn't available yet, but Google says it's coming later this year. So stay tuned for that. Also right now, Gemini Live is only available in English and only to users who are subscribed to the Google One AI premium plan, which by the way, costs $20 a month. So it's not exactly cheap and it's not yet available in other languages or on iOS, though Google says that's coming soon. But don't get too bummed out. There's a lot more coming that's actually pretty exciting. In the next few weeks, Android users will be able to bring up Gemini's overlay on top of any app they're using. So basically, while watching a YouTube video and holding down the power button, you'll be able to ask Gemini questions about what you're watching. Or better yet, generating images with Gemini and dragging them directly into your emails or messages. 
And speaking of images, while you can't generate pictures of people just yet, you can still create and use images for other things, like adding a cool background to an email. This might not seem like a big deal, but for those of us who use our phones for a lot of different tasks, it's a nice touch. Plus, Google is adding new integrations with its other services, which they like to call extensions. So soon, you'll be able to ask Gemini to help with tasks in Google Calendar, Keep, Tasks, and even YouTube Music. For example, you could snap a photo of a concert flyer, ask Gemini if you're free that day, and then have it set a reminder to buy tickets. Or have it dig out an old recipe from your Gmail and add the ingredients to your Keep Shopping list. Okay, so after hearing all this, you might be wondering if Gemini Live is worth it. From what I've seen and heard, it's definitely one of the most impressive AI features Google has rolled out so far. It's like they've finally cracked the code on making a voice assistant that's actually useful for more than just setting alarms or playing your favorite songs. But as always with new tech, the real test is going to be how well it works in the real world. We've all seen those amazing demos at tech events that don't quite live up to the hype when we get our hands on the product. So while Gemini Live looks super promising, I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm definitely excited to see how it performs once more people start using it and pushing it to its limits. Also, let's not forget that Google is still working on this thing. They've already announced that more features are on the way, including deeper integrations with apps like Google Home, Phone, and Messages. So while Gemini Live is already pretty solid, it's only gonna get better. And for those of you who are all about Android, you're in luck because Gemini is fully integrated into the Android experience. You can bring it up with a long press of the power button or by saying, hey Google, and it's ready to help with whatever you're doing on your phone. The idea is that Gemini is always there when you need it, whether you're trying to figure out what's on your screen or just need a quick answer to a random question. And honestly, I'm pretty excited to see where Google takes this next. All right, if you're still with me after that deep dive into Gemini Live, there's more happening in the world of Google AI that we need to talk about. Google's AI overviews, those little AI generated snippets that pop up in your search results. They've been on a bit of a roller coaster ride lately, and it's worth taking a closer look. So here's the deal. The visibility of these AI overviews in Google's search results has been all over the place. In July, they showed up in about 12% of searches, but then dropped back down to 7% by the end of the month. This kind of fluctuation isn't new. Back in May, they were visible in 15% of searches, so it's clear that Google's still figuring this out. Why does this matter? Well, for SEOs and content creators, it's a big deal. Google's AI overviews are supposed to give quick AI-generated answers, but the fact that they keep changing shows that Google hasn't quite nailed down the format or the content yet. Interestingly, certain types of searches, like travel and entertainment, aren't triggering these AI overviews anymore. But on the flip side, they've ramped up for queries about salaries, complex technical terms, and long tail keywords. In short, Google's AI overviews are still a work in progress, and this volatility is something to watch, especially if you're in the SEO game or just curious about how AI is reshaping search as we know it. All right, let me know in the comments what you think about Gemini Live. Is it something you'd use, or do you think it's just another gimmick? And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tech deep dives. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.